Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a giant bubble wand like this that you can make giant bubbles with. It's very simple and some of the stuff you need will come in Whitefish Community Library's discovery packet that comes out June 8th, June 8th, 2020. But I'm going to show you very quickly how to make a bubble wand. And if you don't pick up the packet, I'm sure you can find this stuff at your house. First, you need two sticks, pretty sturdy, two rubber bands, something to use for a weight. You'll notice that this one has a large paper clip for a weight. Right here, I have a keychain loop that I'm going to use for a weight, and you need two pieces of string. One will be twice as long as the other. Um, actually, string, yarn, thin stuff won't work. You need something with a little bit of heft. That's why I'm using number 36 chalk line twine. I also have a great big bubble wand that I made using braided cotton clothesline. So you can make them, you need a bigger weight with that. So let's get started. It's really fast and simple. Once you cut out your pieces of string, in the discovery packet, you'll have one that's about 14 inches long and one that's twice that long, 34 inches. We're just going to knot the ends together very simply, but we will want to have about an inch, the ends about an inch after the knot left over. So we don't want to knot it right at the end of the string. We want to knot it, we just, it's just a very simple knot, overhand knot. And see how I have two, the ends are a little longer than an inch. So don't forget, like I just did, on the longer string you want to put your weight. So the weight is in the longer string. And we'll knot the other two ends together of the short string and the long string. We're knotting the ends, one end of the short string to one end of the long string. And there we go. So now you have something that looks like this. We're going to put it, attach it to our stick with the rubber bands, to our sticks. We take one of the ends and we're going to attach the part of the string beyond the knot. So you can see that I have the knot there and I'm using the rubber band to attach it. And it looks like this. Hold it up before you attach the next one to make sure you have it straightened right and it's not tangled in some way. And we'll attach it to our second stick. You can do this yourself, or you can have a grown-up show you how to do it, or your big brother and sister. Okay, so this is what we have. Let's go make some bubbles. <laughs> 